Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Secure TV. Today we're gonna discuss about the Buff Suite Enterprise Edition. Uh, in the pre uh, in the previous videos, we had talked about what is the Buff Scanner, Buff Professional, and Buff Community Edition. So today we're gonna talk about the Enterprise Edition, which is uh, not so much famous. Uh, tool by the burp, but it is of course uh, useful uh, It's just a starting point uh, at this point like you know uh, with the enterprise edition They have not gone that far in terms of implementing all the features But it's still a good start by the burp suite because uh, it has a lot of popularity among the penetration testers So there will be a lot of people uh, like you know going with this tool in the future. That's what my understanding is now the question is, what is the Burp Enterprise uh, and how it differs from the other tool? So if you are uh, aware of or uh, have experience with the IBM AppScan, Rapid7, AppSpider, or Sensic Hailstorm, so all these tools uh, are used for like you know dynamic scanning. So how it works is, you can schedule the scan, you can kick off the scan. It requires very minimal human intervention. Now so far with the Burp Scanner you need to have some hands-on experience so like you know a person like a security engineer or or the security professional pen tester would know how to work with the bulb scanner and how to schedule the scan because you have to define the scope you have to spider the application and all those things so there were a lot of manual elements now with the enterprise edition they have tried to eliminate that you just provide the url of the application you want to scan you configure your login credentials and it's just gonna scan the application without any intervention, then you get a nice report in terms of the HTML and the graphs and everything. So that is uh, that is what a Burp Scanner is. Uh, we're going to see a demo. Uh, I'll, I'll walk you through all the features, the things I like, which things I don't like about this scanner. So uh, let's let's jump on to a demo and, and uh, let me show you how you can schedule the scan with the enterprise. So as you can see, uh, right now I'm running it on a local host, so I have a licensed uh, Burp Enterprise Edition. Of course, there is no uh, community edition, or uh, you have to, uh, they give you the trial edition, trial version, but then you have to buy the license. Now, first off, if you compare the licensing cost, uh, you use like, you know, with the other scanners, like an Rapid7 or the IBM App Scan, Burp Enterprise is much, much, much cheaper. Uh, of course, uh, as you can see with the Burp tools as well, like the Burp proxy as well, uh, which is much cheaper and very effective and favorite proxy for uh, among the pen tester community. So likewise, the enterprise edition is not that expensive. Uh, even the small small enterprise can afford to have this scanner, and, and I think that's the that's the target audience uh, Burp is going for. So how you how it works is simple. Uh, you install the agent either on your local system or the remote system, and then you can access the user interface through your browser. Uh, in this case, you do not have to run any EXE or you do not have to run any uh, install in Java application to run the Bub scanner. So once it's installed on the on any of the system, you just can access from the browser. So let's put the password. And once you log in, uh, this is the screen that you're gonna see. This is like a home screen where you can see all the current issues. So this is similar to like you know any other dynamic scanner, but of course uh, we have not been used to seeing this burp screen because always we have that burp proxy where you can see all the scan results and everything. But yeah, this is more of like a that dynamic scanner. So here you can see all the current issues. Uh, it says we are in action, more charts will appear soon. So so there are a lot of, let me tell you this, so there are a lot of features in this one which are, I would say, half complete or yet to complete or still undergoing, and they have a lot to cover as well if they want to, like, you know, compete with the other uh, well-established scanners. Uh, here you can see all the uh, vulnerable sites. Uh, what was the recent scan and the running scans if you have any or any scheduled scans so all these things you can see on the dashboard now if you want to add a new site or you want to conduct a new scan what you can do is you just go here new site let's say cyber security scan that's the name of the new site then what you have to do is you can select the folder and here you can also specify which side you want to scan. So for example, I'll say demo.com. 
testfire.net. Uh, here are the excluded URL. So, for example, if there are any configuration pages uh, within the application which you do not want bug to scan, you can exclude those. Uh, and this is very, uh, as you could see, this is very like you know simple to use uh, interface. There is no rocket science. Like someone even does not have a good security background or experience, they can still go ahead and schedule the scans. Application logins. So if you want to uh, burp to log in and scan the site, then something you can do it here. Uh, we can say test admin admin then you hit this button and it's gonna save now one thing you have noticed uh, this is very simple and sometimes it's effective sometimes it does not in various complex website this might not work where you have the redirect where there's an SSO so all those application will not be able to scan using this configuration you have to have a macro or some other recording which bar proxy does have so they can essentially put that feature in here but right now they do not have it but they're gonna uh, do this do this and and all the other scanners like a rapid on IBM you would see uh, the macro recording functions uh, that you can uh, like you know easily record the login and everything uh, here you can uh, select the scan configuration so for example what you wanna scan you wanna scan just JavaScript critical issues light active passive you want to just do crawling, so all the defined policies, you have it here. And then you can also import the policies. Uh, you can also create your custom configuration, and we'll, show, we'll see how, how it happens. Uh, but uh, let's just say crawl strategy faster. And if you want to uh, configure the email recipient, uh, so it will send out an email when the scan is completed or failed, so you can always do that. Once it's done, you just hit the save button. So now it is almost there. You now have a site ready to be scanned. Next step, new scan. Now we have added the site. We're just going to schedule the scan. You can start the scan as soon as possible, uh, or you can also schedule for the future date. Uh, you can also put on schedule, so runs every week, every month. Based on your requirement, you can do that. And uh, this is all. You create the save button, and what it's going to do is it's going to create a new scan. Let's see, did it? Not sure why it's asking uh, for the scan configuration again, but oh, we have to select the site. Okay. All right, there you go. Now it's just waiting for an agent. So the pricing structure works on uh, per agent, so depending on how many agents you want to buy. So for example, in this one, you could see I have one count and unused agent license. So I have three licenses uh, uh, purchased with my license, uh, which is how uh, you can run concurrent scans. So if you have to run like five concurrent scans, depending on the how many agents you have, you can run those scans. So here uh, it's running the scan uh, and one is waiting for the agent. Uh, okay, so we, we can essentially cancel this one because both are identical scans. Now while it is waiting, let's see scan configuration. So as I uh, told you before, here are the managed configuration rules. So uh, here it will give you all the details and you can see familiarity with the user interface. It's similar to but proxy what you see. So here you can configure, you can edit, and like you know, make whatever changes you wanna do, and then uh, download this, upload this. You can import, export. You can use, uh, uh, like you know, create your own. And these are some of the built-in. But yeah, you can uh, of course do that. So other thing is, uh, you can go to settings. You can uh, check for the updates, licensing, network, email, uh, Jira integration. This is, uh, I think, one of the important feature which many enterprises looking for. So as, long, as soon as we find something, if you have the Jira integration, it's going to create a ticket into your Jira, uh, whatever the project you have defined, and developer can easily take the uh, whatever the issue uh, Burp has reported and, and start working with the fixes. I'm not sure if the, if the reverse connection works in case 
developer fix the issue on the Jira, close the tickets, will it trigger a new scan on the perp? That I'm not sure. But yeah, that's a, that's a good integration uh, to have. Uh, again, you can configure false positives, so in the future scans it will not detect those. You can also see sites and scan data. So uh, this is all the configuration. You can delete the scans, which are one year and older. Uh, so pretty much, uh, like, you know, uh, oh, yeah, and one other good feature is the uh, database. So right now I'm using just a standard database, which was uh, which came with the uh, Burp Suite. But you can also configure your own, like MySQL or any other database that uh, you wish. Let's see if our scan has completed. So scan is still running, but what I can show you is I have already uh, I already ran this scan, so we can uh, see the results of here. So as you can see, this is how it shows: 12 there are critical, three medium, three low, and 29 informational issues. Now, if you click here, you can go to the chart. You can see all the start time, end time. Here you can see the statistics and, uh, of course, the results of all the vulnerability. And here we give you all the uh, description of what the vulnerability is. You can directly mark false positive here. So uh, once you mark it, in the future scan, it's not going to show up. Uh, so which is which way you can eliminate uh, a lot of uh, rework or tedious work. And uh, here you can see the request response similar to what we have used to see in the bar proxy. So this is uh, essentially uh, sort of like compressed version of the dynamic scanner, uh, the way I see it. Because if you see uh, tools like a well-established HP, IBM, or Rapid7 tools, they have much more rich functionality. They can tackle any type of application. They support regex to detect. Uh, log in, log out. They can show you real time logs, traffic logs, and there are just so many features in there. Uh, here, Burp is lacking this feature, but then again, if you compare the pricing, this is good enough. So, if you do not have expertise and you can't run the Burp, and if you do not want to spend thousands of dollars, then uh, this might be a good tool for uh, for the enterprise to have and run the scans and at least have the visibility that they do not have any uh, security vulnerabilities in the application. So that's that's what, uh, uh, all I want to talk about in terms of what is the Burp, what is the Burp scanner, and what's the Burp enterprise, how it works, what's the benefit, disadvantage. Let me know if you guys have used it. I would love to uh, hear from you whether you liked it, you don't like it. I have like you know, I've not been using it for a long time, so I'm not able, not sure. Uh, comparing with the other tools, I have compared like one or two scans where the results were pretty much identical uh, because we know Burp scanner is effective. So uh, I have no question in the technical technical uh, functionality of the uh, Burp enterprise. But yeah, just wanted to compare uh, and and yeah, I wanted to hear from you guys how you feel like. All right, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.